Hey guys, it's K7, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and run your Citra emulator on your PC, plus one legit CIA to test it. Now, this is a really cool thing because you can play your 3DS games on your PC. So the Citra emulator is a good way to do that. This is a really good emulator and some people seem to be having problems with set it, setting this emulator up, but I'm here to help. So if you just follow along with this tutorial, you shouldn't have any problems running and getting the Citra emulator set up for your first time. So there'll be a few things you are going to want to have in order for the Citra emulator to run properly. First, you're going to want to go over to the Citra emulator website, as you can see here. Also, there will be a link down in the description where you can just go to this website and download the latest version of Citra emulator. The next thing you're going to want to have and you're going to need to get this emulator to work properly is you're going to need is Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. So you're going to go to the link that I've left down in the description. Also, you're going to go down there and then you're going to download that and then install it. If you have difficulty installing it, if you don't already have it, you can find some tutorials on the internet, go on Google, type in, you know, how to install Visual C++ Redistributable 2015. And there, there's a lot of um, tutorials out there showing you how to do that. But this tutorial is for the Citra emulator and getting it to run. So with that, unfortunately, I won't be able to help you. So you have to do that part on your own. But for those of you who already do have the Citra redistrib, I mean, the Microsoft redistributable C++ 2015, and you've installed it correctly and successfully, then you can continue on with this tutorial. So once you've downloaded the Citra emulator, the latest version, you're going to want to go over to your desktop and you're going to want to find it so you're going to find it extract it wherever you may extract it and then you're going to try to start up your citra emulator so i've already unpacked mine so i'm just going to go to the folder where i've saved it and then go ahead and get it started okay so once you've extracted your Citra emulator, you'll get some files. You want to double click on the Citra QT and you want to click the other Citra EXE executable as well. A little window should pop up really quickly and close down. Make sure you click on that one as well before you open your main Citra application. Okay, so once you have opened your main Citra application, you'll see this. It'll look like this. So you're going to maybe want to set up some things, etc. See if you can get some games running. Also, you'll need a game to test it out on. So I've also left a link in a description down below where you can get a legitimate CIA or legitimate just test game for to test this out to see if it's working correctly and if it's working correctly the game should run you just need a decent computer decent processor and um you'll be fine it should run pretty smoothly but anyway go to the link down in the description and there will be a link to where you can get a legitimate cia and test it on this particular citra emulator okay now, once you've gone to download that particular game, you are going to want to take that game. You're going to go over. You're going to go over to 
your file window which is right up here you're gonna go over to your file and then you're gonna want to go to load And then wherever you saved the extracted game that you downloaded previously, you're just going to double click on it. So as you can see, there's nothing popping up because it, it's not working and you get a black screen here. So the game won't run correctly unless you fix this particular version because this version there's something wrong with it it doesn't play uh it doesn't play the games right now and it just doesn't run so what you're going to need to do is close this out and then you're going to see another link down in the description where it says files needed and it says modify files by kind 7 once you get those so click down there in the description and then click on the files needed link and download that. Once you've downloaded and extracted the files needed folder, these are the files that you're going to get uh, after you've extracted them into your onto your desktop or wherever you extracted them. You're going to go into the folder and you're going to get these files. You're going to take these files, highlight all of them and copy them and paste them into your Citra emulator folder. So once you do that, this should fix the problems that you were having before. So we're going to go in and we're going to copy and paste these files or just drag them and drop them in there. Either one into the Citra emulator folder. Click on replace all and then you should be all set. Once you've clicked on replace all, try running the Citra emulator again. The same window should pop open and then you'll get this white window again. So you're gonna want to go over to your configuration to maybe check to see what maybe window options you want etc so head over to the configuration above next to file so here at input you can put different inputs into your computer um, unfortunately you have to use another program like joy to key or key to joy or something like that in order for this to work because there's no key mapping for the controller at this time so We'll get to this later though. As far as the graphics, you don't want to touch this. You want to keep this the same, but you can change the window options, whatever you'd like. You can change the screen layout right here also if you'd like, or you can just keep it on default. I use default here you can change to whatever you want but just for this example we're going to be using default um, everything is set here so we can just you can set up your controls how you want but I've already set mine so we're just gonna click OK and then we're gonna go back and try to load the game that we tried to load earlier so we're gonna go over to file and then we're gonna go try to load the game So as you can see, the game is running and there you go. From there, you can just go into the game and um, it works perfectly fine. Let me just go into the game. You see there's sound. And yeah, there you go. 
the game is running the game is working and yeah so it should work for you as well so that's pretty much it for this tutorial you guys if you guys need any help or have any questions then leave your thoughts or comments down below also i want to try and get 100 likes for this video so slap that like button make sure to slap that like button and make sure to share this with your friends but that'll be all for this video until next time this has been k7 peace later